So this is a diff, E36 medium case diff. Uh, I've got the back plate off. So inside here, we've got the uh, the ring gear, which is here, the big one. We don't want to weld this. And inside here, we've got the planetary gears. So it's an open diff, and you can see the planetary gears. So what happens if we turn one side of the diff, turn one side, you can see the planetary gears are spinning. And that's what we don't want. That's called an open diff. So we're actually going to weld those together and uh, lock this diff up. It's just a cheap mod, um, quick and easy to go drifting. So what we've done, um, got some plates, 16 mil by 35 mil. Uh, this is only like three more plates all I had laid around. So it's going to have to do, but I wouldn't recommend going any lighter than that. Um, so you see, we cut them out as rectangles and then we just chamfer the edges off with a grinder. So we make it like an hourglass shape. Um, doesn't have to be too exact, rough and ready. And basically we drop them in and you'll see they sit in there nicely in between the gears. And uh, what we're gonna do first is basically put some weld in the top corners here where the planetary gears meet the four corners. So we'll just tack or weld them together first as, as strong as we can. And then after that, we're gonna drop these plates in and then we're gonna weld around the whole lot, all four planetary gears using the plate to bond them together. If you haven't got any uh, anti-spatter spray, um, you can cover the ring gear in um, uh, spray on cooking oil. You know, the cheap spray on cooking fats. Borrow some of that from your kitchen. You can cover that on the on the uh, planetary, on the ring gear so you don't get any spatter. Um, also, you want to clean it. Just get some brake fluid or degreaser. Clean the whole thing out as best you can. And for Christ's sake, make sure it's dry before you go welding. Otherwise, um, first strike of the arc, you'll have no eyebrows left. So make sure everything's out of there that's flammable. Um, all your degreaser and that's gone before you weld it. Just give it a blow out of an airline first. Right, there we go. Uh, kick on and weld it, and I'll show you the finish. Part. Okay, so just welded the four planetary gears together. So you can see there, just some little tabs of weld, basically stick them together. You go as full power as you can, just glue them together. So now we're going to drop the plates in, and then we'll weld the uh, all four corners of the plate and get it all nice and bonded together. There you go, quick and easy. Okay, uh, just finished welding it up. So yeah, this ain't a pretty job. It's a nice, quick and easy one. I haven't got much time tonight. So we just hosed it basically, full power on the welder. Try and weld all four corners and join as much of the planetary gears as you can. Uh, with each weld and weld right into the right into the gaps and just try and bond as much as you can that should hold together um, I say you can make it pretty if you want but yeah really come on if you're welding a diff we're not into pretty so there you go hope you uh, hope it helps you out that's an e36 diff welding and ready for some drift catch you later